it's day 48 of this Joshua Tree Growing Series. And I don't know if you can see that, but if you look there, this thing is kind of withered away. You know, um, I don't really know what this thing does. You know, it's a hairpin. It's kind of shriveled up at the end. Maybe it's too dry. Maybe it's supposed to die like that. Uh, don't really notice anything for this one here. These things have more rigidity now. Um, but they're not quite as rigid as pine needles or anything like that. And these uh, oldest leaves are all about 12 centimeters tall. Well, they're oldest if you don't count little things like that hairpin. And I don't really even see that feature anymore for the other two ones. But, um, yeah, right here, um, you can see a little green loop coming out. That's another plant. And let's see, right here, you can see this little green hair coming out, right green. So we have at least five plants. Uh, this pot feels very light again. I'm gonna start watering copiously. So let me take this down. Yeah, so I don't know if this gives you a better viewing of that and that. But it seems like these small pots run out of water really fast. So you just gotta be generous and go top down as heavy as possible. But without turning everything upside down, of course. See, it looks like there might have been a little shift in the soil there. And this is more exposed now. You can try to compensate, but it's never going to be perfect, you know. So, yeah, I'm going to get it slightly buried. So, just to make sure everything has more support. Of course, there were probably, yeah, there were 15 seeds in the beginning. So... 5 out of 15 isn't too bad, but it's been like 48 days already. That's a really long time. So for whatever reason, positioning, genetic variation, you know, some just are way slower to sprout into action and germinate than the others.